Hello friends, now we are going to see about Bt crops. What is Bt? So, we are going to cover about the contents of introduction about Bt, Bt cotton, working mechanism of Bt, advantages and disadvantages of Bt cotton, Bt brinjal and its production techniques, advantages and disadvantages of Bt brinjal, Bt corn and its benefits. First, coming to the introduction, Bacillus thuringiensis Bt, the full form of Bt is Bacillus thuringiensis. So, Sigatane Ishivatari in the year 1901 first isolated the Bacillus thuringiensis. So, the Bt is commonly abbreviated as Bacillus thuringiensis is a gram positive, facultative, aerobic, rod like, motile, and sporulating bacterium. So, Bt is naturally occurring soil burn bacterium that is found worldwide. So, ubiquitous in nature. So, produces crystals of endotoxin. We also call it as cry protein or delta toxin. The toxin to insect mainly to their larval stage, thus they act as insecticides. Next, the crystal proteins, we also call it as cry proteins, are insect stomach poisons. So, the insects stop feeding within 2 hours of first bite. And if enough toxin is eaten, die within the 2 or 3 days. Important biological insect control agents. So, the Bt crystals, sometimes referred to as insecticidal crystal proteins, ICP, are protein crystals formed during sporulation of some bacillus thuringiensis strains encoded by, sorry, coded by cry genes. So, what is Bt cotton? The genetically modified variety of cotton that produces an insecticide which we call it as Bt cotton marketed by Monsanto by USA. So this is the picture of Bt cotton. And next how the Bt cotton will work. First is ingestion. Next solubilization and proteolytic activity means it kills the protein binding to the target site formation of toxic lesions. So, in this picture we can able to see, so this is Bacillus thuringiensis. So, with Bacillus thuringiensis, so we have with genetically engineering, we have incorporated into corn as well as cotton. So, we call it as Bt cotton, Bt corn and Bt cotton. So, the, with, when ingestion of this insect, so the Bt toxin crystals is being released, solubilized and activation is being done in the gut. So, it needed the alkaline nature. So, the insect gut is nothing but in alkaline, alkalinity because of that it will get activated. After activation, so it binding to the receptor that it forms a toxin monomer. Next, the membrane insertion, it leads to pores to the membranes. Finally, it leads to septicemia and death of the larva of the insect. So, this whole process is being happened by injecting the bacillus thuringiensis genetically modified Bt cotton or Bt corn plant. So, coming to the mode of action of Bt toxin in the insect gut is, so dissolving of crystals and activation of toxins. Initially, it is protoxin, it is not been activated. Finally, when entering into the gut wall, which is alkaline in nature, it is activated into endotoxin. So, now the activated endotoxin will create the lesions in the gut and finally, it leads to death of the larva. So, technology of production is the main steps for developing the transgenic crops are identification of effective genes. Next, gene transfer, regeneration from protoplast, callus and tissue. So, gene expression to a desired level, back cross to produce the varieties, field test, approval for commercialization. Coming to next, tra methods of gene transfer, agrobacterium mediated gene transfer, Bombardment of cells with particle coated with gene of interest. So, these are the two methods they have been used. First, initially, this is the source organism. And next, we have the agrobacterium. So, we have been growing the agrobacterium. So, next, the tissue culture. Under the tissue culture, finally, we will get the plant. And with the micro... So, this is one root. And the other root is transfer of DNA by gold or tungsten or the micro particle. This is bombardment method. And this is agrobacterium mediated gene transfer. This is one method. First is source of an organism. So, it is being inculcated into agrobacterium. 
and again with the tissue culture so it is been finally developed into inside the plant and one more route is bombardment method so transfer dna gold or tungsten microparticles with this particle gun we are injecting the gene and micro propagation and again to the final plant and transformation with agrobacterium agrobacterium contain a circle of dna which we call it as tri plasmid that carries a desired gene so co cultivation of agrobacterium with plant pieces transfers the dna so this is the petri dish with leaf pieces as well as agrobacterium so it will be transferred easily in this method next bt cotton in india india is the largest cotton producer and consumer country after china in 2002 bt cotton was introduced in india so the india has the largest hectares of cotton and accounts for approximate one third of the total cotton are planted in the world so the cotton yields will increase from 308 kg in 2001 for hectares in 2001 to 2002 to 550 kg of hectares in 2014 to 2015 so there is an yield increase more increase in the yield coming to the advantages of bt cotton yield is superiority more profit lesser needs of pesticide better quality suitability for uh, early sowing coming to the disadvantages higher seed cost because of genetically engineering methods higher fertilizer and irrigation cost so coming to the trade name uh, which been produces the bt cotton is bolgard so it produces the cotton the company is Mon- monsanto so the insect pests are tobacco budworm cotton ballworm pink ballworm these things will be been avoided by this bt cotton next bolgard 2 this is also by the same uh, which also which produces the cotton by the same company so same insect pest so tobacco budworm cotton ballworm pink ballworm so next white strike this is one more company which produces the cotton and the company is well, the trade and the company is dow and future prospects of bt cotton in india is five new hybrid cottons are under biosafety assessment which will be considered for commercial approval between 2013 to 2015 so other threat include drought and se- salinity tolerance so the disease resistance sucking insect resistance leaf curl virus resistance and other threat related to cotton fiber quality so coming to bt brinjal so brinjal is the botanical name known for solanum melon me- sorry solanum melanogena so included under the genus of solanum which is one of the largest genera having more than 1500 described plant species so the cultivated types are fit for human consumption and are divided into three main varieties based based on the fruit shape one is round or egg shape other one is long and slender shape and the one is dwarf brinjal plants we have three varieties of brinjals coming to the major problems the major problems in brinjal cultivation is brinjal shoot and fruit bo- borer so it is monophagous and attacks the all aerial parts of the plant specifically the shoot and the fruit damage the fruit and affect the fruit quality badly it causes the yield losses about 60 to 70% even after the multiple insecticide spray so coming to the life cycle of fruit and shoot borer so initially it is the eggs it will lay the eggs shoot borer so this is one of the insect next it will come to larva larva to pupa and finally adult so it takes around 25 to 43 days to for the whole life cycle development coming to the symptoms of damage if you open and cut also you will get a shoot damage as well as the fruit damage next what is bt brinjal the bt brinjal is the transgenic brinjal created out of inserting a gene called cri iac from the soil bacterium bacillus thuringiensis into the brinjal the insertion of the gene into brinjal cell in young cotyledon has been done through agrobacterium mediated vector along with promoters markers etc this is said to give the brinjal plant resistance against lepidotherian insects like the brinjal fruit and shoot borer so and fru- fruit borer as well as so this is reported that upon ingestion the bt toxin by the insect there will be a disruption of digestive process 
ultimately result in death of the insect. So the schematic diagram for the Bt crop development is first inoculation, next co-cultivation, next selection and generation, regrowth, molecular verification of gene presence and expression we have to be seen and evaluation of transferred transformed brinjal plant for insect protection. So arguments in favor of Bt brinjal. 60% of plant protection cost for controlling the fruit and shoot borer is reduced. In spite of extensive use of chemical pesticides, larvae lead a concealed life. It is difficult to control these insecticide sprays. So what are the benefits of Bt brinjal? Non-infested, undamaged and good quality brinjal fruits. Bt brinjal will significantly reduce the level of pesticide residues. Farmers are expected to benefit at multiple levels. Some of these includes saving on cost of insecticides and lower the labor cost as a result of reduced spraying, increase in yield per unit area by saving fruits from damage caused by FSP. Next benefits to the farmers are, so development of, so this is the Bt, this is non-Bt, non-Bt and Bt, you can able to see the spots and same in this picture also, this is non-Bt and this is Bt. In this picture, this is Bt and this is non-Bt. We can see the differences between the uh, fruit varieties. Next, Bt corn. Why does corn need a protection from corn borers? Each year, 40 million tons of corns never reach the market due to damage. If corn borers are not controlled, the larva will eventually turn into moths and the cycle will continue. So the Bt corn produces a protein that gives the Bt corn built-in resistance to the corn borer offering the protection throughout the plant where the insects attacks. So how does the Bt corn will work? Bt mice has built-in protection against the corn borers achieved through modern biotechnology where the cry iab gene has been added. So the cry iab gene produces the Bt protein which protects the plants and insect damage. So which is none other than Bacillus thuringiensis. So this is the uh, tunneling of the borer. And this is the start after the infection. So now in this picture we can able to see it is the Bacillus thuringiensis. So the gene Bt gene is inserted into the crop and the pest resides when feeding on any part of the plant. So now the crop is infected by the European corn borer. So it, it immediately dies. So what are the benefits of Bt corn? It represents an environmentally sustainable way to control the devastating insect pests and therefore to ensure the yield. Also, grain from Bt cotton is often a better quality than the grain from conventional corn hybrids since the insects damage reduces the grain quality. So, study shows that there is a significant economic return from growing Bt corn with yields protected in years when there is a heavy outbreak of corn borer. There is also evidence that Bt corn provides a form of protection to non-Bt corn by reducing the overall population of corn bear. So coming to the expected benefits of the following assumptions are Bt corn provides around 96% of average control of European corn borer larva. So Bt corn provides 96% control of first generation corn borer and 75% control of second generation corn borers. So insecticide provides 80% and 67% controls of first and second generation borers respectively. So does Bt cotton corn affects the beneficial insects and natural enemies? Many studies have shown that Bt cry proteins are highly selective in killing the larva of moths. So Bt corn however does not affect the beneficial insects including the honeybees, ladybees, green lursing larva, spiders, pirate bugs or parasitic wasp. These things are not affected. So, indirect effects on natural enemies of European corn borer, however, could occur. So, predators, parasites and pathogens of the corn borer might decline as corn borer populations will decline. Coming to Bt cotton has no toxic impact in higher animals, humans. So, all the people will have a question that if we eat that Bt brinjal or anything, so we will get an infection and we will die. So, that is not the case because... That bacillus thuringiensis, that crystals is needed with a medium of alkaline. 
but our stomach is acidic stomach because of that thing only we are safe from bt bringer so it there is no anything we can eat it very safely so because of acidic stomach very low ph that is 1.5 in humans absence of required receptors so the bt is safe to non target organisms that is to humans so i hope uh, you enjoyed about the slides and all so thank you very much please do like share comment and subscribe to my channel